Dr. Luke, you're with Pastors for Texas Children as well, yes. correct? Okay. Yes. Um, so recently, Pastors for Texas Ch Children tweeted, Governor Abbott is going to leave the indoctrination to all those religious schools your tax dollars will fund if it passes, meaning this bill. How does that fit with Pastors for Texas Children to call Christian education indoctrination? Well, I don't. Well, I, I don't know how that fits. I know that I'm here testifying on behalf of the Coalition for Public Schools, and I do believe that if I go take my dollars, my tax dollars, and I take it to a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Wiccan, Scientologist church, the ones that I just mentioned, those churches will teach their doctrine. And teaching your doctrine is, in, that is the textbook uh, uh, definition of indoctrination. So right now, this is the concern that many folks have about what's going on with some public schools, right? And, and, uh, and, and there may be examples of that. I don't know them. But I, I will tell you that in, in, a, in a Christian school where my son Finley goes to uh, Liberty Christian School uh, up north of Fort Worth, and um, uh, Senator Parker probably knows that school. Very, very well. And so... So he goes to that school for the express purpose of indoctrinating him in the Christian faith. That's why my, my daughter-in-law and my son put him in there so that he will learn about his faith and he will grow in his faith. There is nothing wrong with that. In fact, I favor that and I support them in that. But I don't favor tax dollars going for that. In a conversation I had with her recently, I said, hey, if you got a $10,000, like SB 176, your bill has a $10,000 level, right? So if you got 10,000 bucks from that, you could offset Finley's tuition and it's 15K for a second, second grader. You could offset it and you could save 10 grand and only pay five. She looked me in the eye, a very conservative Christian young lady, and she says, we don't want it. We don't want that money because we don't okay. believe that mandates and strings won't eventually be attached. Well, you know, I, I disagree that you view that in a positive way because Pastors for Texas Children called vouchers a dereliction of duty before God. So I'm going to disagree okay. with how you frame that. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you.